Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and I'm going to show you setting up IS Boxer 41 for World of Warcraft. Um, if you've got an IS Boxer 40 profile, you should probably start with a clear profile. You can use a save as to backup what you currently got, and then just go to File and select Clear, and go ahead and delete everything, and run the Quick Setup Wizard. Which game would you like to set up? I'll be setting up World of Warcraft. And it detects your characters and on the next page since you're playing World of Warcraft. Um, if you're not, then um, you might have to fill in these boxes yourself. Um, but in this case, I can just click on my peoples, fill in the Battle.net account. Um, I'm going to tell it to use DirectX 11 for my team. Um, add your characters in the order that they should be in. Um, three, four, okay. Um, pick a name for your team, something you will remember is your team. Mine are Death Knights on Kael'thas, so I'm going to be calling it Kael'thas DKs. Um, window layout page is basically the same as it was before. You can pick um, whichever layout suits your fancy. I will be using this one for this demo. The CPU strategy generator changed a little bit. Um, it used to always give you round robin balancing down here and now it's going to detect what it thinks is the best and it also provides you with a list of how the how the load is going to be balanced um, between the different game instances, that's your slots, and your CPU cores. Um, so by default for me it chose this one um, but it may also choose select all CPUs with every window um, if it thinks that that's going to give you a better load balance. So I will just use the default in my case. Now on the last page it's a little bit different than you might be used to. <clears throat> um, since I'm playing World of Warcraft it started out with the MMO standard style. There's other styles here. Uh, if you're playing Diablo 3 it'll give you the action RPG instead um, which starts with for example broadcasting mode starts on on all windows for this configuration style. Um, if you don't like that for Diablo 3, you can just uncheck that box. Um, but I'm going to go back to MMO Standard for World of Warcraft. That's the simple configuration for WoW. Um, I'm going to change my toggle broadcasting mode hotkey. I have a fancy Logitech G510 keyboard, so I'm going to go ahead and use the MR key um, on my keyboard. Um, I've got the Logitech profiler software shut down, so the um, M1 and M2, M3, MR keys don't have special behavior on them because that program's not running. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use those buttons to my advantage um, for IS Boxer. Okay, activate next window. I'm going to go ahead and set that. I got. I also have a Logitech mouse that supports um, special hotkeys. This is the G600. Um, it's kind of like the Razer Naga, which I've got right here. Um, so they both have 12 buttons on the side, but the difference is that uh, the Logitech G600, each of the buttons can be independently bound where the Naga just pretends it's a keyboard and sends the one button or the two button or the numpad depending on the option you set on the mouse. Um, so anyway, the Logitech has a little bit better um, setup for that for IS Foxer. So I'm going to pick G600-G20, that's the G20 button on my mouse, um, just for the next window hotkey. Now if you check the show me advanced options, it's going to show you a little bit extra stuff down here. Um, you don't necessarily need to change these, that's why it's hidden by default. Um, but I like to have a console hotkeys in case I need to debug something or... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set that to alt uh, tilde is what people call the key. <clears throat> the most important thing on this page is actually down here under standard MMO combat broadcasting 1 through, Z through equals. If you uncheck this box, then the one through equals buttons will not broadcast your other windows. With World of Warcraft, by default, they're going to broadcast and it's going to automatically assist. Um, so there's two options below that in this box. <clears throat> the default is to put it on a new menu, which is a transparent overlay for your action bar. And I'll show you that once we get in the game. Now, if you don't like that option, then you want to pick the key map. That's the old way, same as IS Fox or 40. It'll put it in a combat key map, um, and you won't be able to physically see them on the screen. So that, that explains to you that it's invisible versus a transparent overlay for your action bar. 
So I'm going to use that, um, the overlay, and on the game key bindings tab, um, this is most useful if you're not playing World of Warcraft and you get this handy table right here um, that you tell IS Boxer which key it, for each window can target the other guys. Like if Herpina needs to target Herpelin in order to follow or assist um, using follow target or assist target, then they can do that. Um, so I might put that might be F2 um, for Herpina to target Herpelin in my case and it might be F3 or F4 or something to target the other guys and you fill those in um, in order to use those and the per character targeting macros um, are for World of Warcraft automatically or um, in Rift if you do some extra setup so where World of Warcraft will go ahead and use the IS Boxer add-on option um, but if you have interactive target and focus target hotkeys you can go ahead and set those here um, for IS Boxer to know about. My interactive target hotkey in the game is J. Um, I don't know my focus target. I don't use that key, so I'm not going to fill that in. Um, click Finish, and that's pretty much it. I'll show you real quickly the key maps. Um, under Non Combat, this is where it puts your Assist Me and Follow Me hotkeys. Um, it did not let us configure the interactive target hotkey that we push to make all of our guys interactive target. You have two options here. One of them is Interact with target keep CTM. That's mostly for, say, melee teams or teams where you want to put your interact with target on your DPS keys. Um, you can you can use interact with target keep CTM for that purpose. Um, it's only one step, so it works well for that purpose. Whereas the main one, which turns off click to move, um, in the second step, that's not made for putting on your DPS keys, just for using with a hotkey or on a menu or something like that. So I'm going to set my hotkey for interact with target to Alt J, and I'll show you that in the game. Um, the rest of these you don't necessarily need to have a hotkey for. Don't worry about it. And there's also the invite team hotkey Shift Alt I by default for World of Warcraft. Um, under combat, this used to be called FTL DPS keys for World of Warcraft, but now it's called combat just like all the other games. Um, and as you can see, it's empty because we chose the menu option. So those hotkeys are set up in the menu, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, under Always On, this is where you've got your key map toggle. Shift Alt M is going to toggle the key maps, um, the combat and non combat ones, and it'll shut off the menu hotkeys 1 through equals. Activate Repeat is the broadcasting toggle. Um, it's set to my hotkey. Um, next Window, that's it, switch to the next window, of course, and it's set to my hotkey that I set in the wizard. Toggle Formations menu, this is not from the wizard, um, it's not set in the wizard, I mean, but Control Shift Alt F by default to set that. <clears throat> to pop up that menu and, and put you guys into formation by clicking. So these other things, um, these bottom 10 or so, are used only in World of Warcraft and they hook up to WoW macros like setting click to move off um, or auto follow or se setting Jamba add-ons master and so on. Just some other things that you don't normally need to worry about. Um, so just leave them alone. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Under menus, the standard menu is what is going to show up in the game. Um, that's most obvious. It's going to be a row of green boxes, and I'll show you that. Um, and this is where, if you wanted to change the way it's laid out, like if it's, if you wanted it a uh, like EverQuest style, is sort of a rectangular box top down of, of uh, five rows and two columns, um, if I remember right. Um, but World of Warcraft is 1 by 12. And that's the same for Rift and Lord of the Rings Online and, and uh, EverQuest 2, um, most other MMOs. So for World of Warcraft, this is basically already set up um, for the way it should be for the default UI. Um, and other hotkey sets. This is the hotkeys that get assigned to your menu, 1 through equals. And you can see up here, if we click on the standard menu, um, that the template is going to be standard that I showed you the hotkey set is going to be standard that's what I clicked on here one through equals and the button set whoops button set is going to use standard assist and broadcast now optionally you can just use standard broadcast and that'll drop the assist um, you can change them to do whatever you like in the button set um, as you can see this is basically like a key map um, maybe you don't know anything about that that's fine you don't really have to worry about that um, if you're just getting started Okay, so getting started, I will go and export, 
and I'll get to launching my team. We'll be back in just a second once I got the windows up. Alright, we're back. All I did was go down to the inner space menu in IS Boxer Character Sets and select my character set that we created in the wizard. <clears throat> Alright, and um, now we, the first time you log in to uh, the game, you're going to have this message, Welcome to IS Boxer 41. And um, it explains a little bit about the see through green squares, which we see right here, um, and what to do about them. That's going to be placed over our action bar once we get into the game, um, and we'll move this uh, toggles menu as well. Um, for right now, we'll go ahead and get started getting into the game. When you go into the game, when you're going to enter your password, turn off key maps so that the password is not mangled by the hotkeys that auto assist and broadcast, or any other hotkeys that you set up. Um, then uh, make sure in the add-on screen that the IS Boxer add-on is enabled. Um, without it, uh, the macros that IS Boxer installs into the game won't be active. That's to follow, assist, um, invite your team to the group, and so on. Um, so just make sure that that's enabled. You can see all my other add-ons are up to date. I haven't used this computer in a while for multiboxing. Um, so I'm going to show you with the default UI, just to show you how simple this really is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter the world um, with broadcasting on. <clears throat> so while we're waiting for the game to load, we'll go ahead and turn on key maps again and turn off um, broadcasting. Now that I've got the game up, we can see where the action bar buttons, um, where the standard menu needs to go. So we'll just put that right over the menu or the action bar there and click sync to make it in the same spot in each game window. Um, and I'll move uh, my toggles as well. I like them over here in the middle. Click sync to make them in the same spot in every window. Save all menu positions. We'll store that so that uh, when we launch the game again, it'll be in the same spot we just left it. All right, next up is uh, I'll go ahead and oh, I invited my guys to the team already. Alt F will make them follow. Um, if your guys aren't already in the team, I logged my guys out, they're already in the team. Um, Shift Alt I is the hotkey um, for World of Warcraft to join us all on the same team. And hey, check this out. I can't detect that person. What am I thinking? All right. Uh, training dummy. Alt J for interact with target. Inter interact with target. One of the things it's going to do is make your guys move to your target. As long as it's not moving, they'll run right there, and start attacking it. Um, or if it's an NPC, they'll they'll open up the quest dialog or the merchant window or or whatever. And that's the same as right clicking. Um, so when it's on a enemy like a training dummy, it's going to start attacking. Uh, and I can go ahead and click. You can click using the menu. Um, you can watch all my guys use the speed boost here. Um, just by clicking on that with the menu up over the action bar. It doesn't even have to be over the action bar. It can be up here. Um, so as I press buttons, you'll see the menu highlight. Um, if I click, it'll light up. Or if I use the hotkeys, I'm going to press 4, and that lights up the fourth box. Um, so you can just put that right over the action bar to keep it out of the way, um, and it can just sit there. And now all of the keys that I press on the menu, all the one through equals hotkeys, they auto assist and broadcast um, as we showed you configured in IS Boxer. Um, one thing I'll mention real quick since I'm playing melees, um, auto follow stops in World of Warcraft if you do a melee swing. So I was just auto following. All I did was let my guys run up and do a swing, and all that stops them from auto following. So if you want to follow again, hit Alt F again or your hotkey um, if you changed it. And uh, there's options. If you use the Jamba add-on for World of Warcraft, it's got a auto follow after combat option that some people like. Um, some people play melees or casters that use channeled spells also have the same problem. Um, so those, some of those people like to automatically re-follow after combat in case they forget to do it themselves. Um, but I prefer just to have a convenient hotkey for it. 
So if you're playing all the same class, um, it's it's really simple just to hit the same button and all your guys use use your ability. Um, and you've got since you've got the same thing on every key, you can you pretty much know what's going on. Um, but if you're playing multiple classes, the same setup is a little bit harder to use. You have to put um, similar abilities or similar cast sequence macros or whatnot um, on the same buttons so that your guys do pretty much the same thing when you press each button. Now for pros, there's a, a different config style, different style to use um, where you set up a button for DPS or a button for stun and button for interrupts um, instead of having individual abilities on your hot button bars. Um, then you just have uh, you can you can swap in different classes and well they you can have them use their that classes interrupt instead of um, just trying to use like piece them all together somehow. Um, so the there's a, a system that'll help you out if you play multiple classes um, and the wizard helps you set that up too. We'll have more tutorials for that uh, pretty soon, but for now um, this will at least get everybody started. <coughs> So that is pretty much the game. Um, we can use interact with target to interact with NPCs or what have you. Um, whoops, one of my guys is way off doing something else. <clears throat> so yeah, that's about it. We've got our key maps toggle that that also ch changes whether the menu is active or not. Um, so if I remove hotkeys, then uh, if I push one, it's only going to do it on the current window and not on the other ones. Um, so that's usually left on while you play, um, and broadcasting mode is usually left off because if you're trying to move around with this on, um, your guys are going in all different directions, and oh boy, yeah. So you use auto follow to move around and not broadcasting. Um, what else we got? Um, lastly, I'll show you the formations menu real quick. Control Shift Alt F, um, and here's the menu up here. I'll move it so we can see it a little better. Okay, um, so what these are, you press it, and the longer you hold it down, the further it'll move. But this one here is the um, flying V formation, and we've got two other kinds of formations: a, a star where they just walk in different directions and the line formation um, the line formation is another two-step where you hold it and then hold it so that's how to set that up you can't actually move around very easily in formations because once again you guys will go in different directions um, and it's kinda I mean you can you can do it a little bit but as you can see it's, it's hard to keep them all in the same spot if that's how you're moving Alt F brings them back together of course um, Yep, there we go. And control shift alt F to hide that menu again. So that's about it. If you have troubles, things don't work exactly as I've demonstrated for you, especially in World of Warcraft, um, go ahead and come out into the IS Boxer chat room for help or onto the isboxer.com forums. Um, and in either place, uh, there's lots of people that know how to use IS Boxer, know all about this stuff, and can troubleshoot and help you figure out what's going wrong. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Um, see you next time.